when you are working on a product or on your app, you want to make sure that every kind of external service, such as an API or any kind of service you are using and interact with your app are working well, right? And uh, that's one of the reasons that you use a lot of time uh, Postman or Insomnia to test different kinds of endpoints. But today I'm going to talk about API Dash. What is API Dash? Hello guys, I forgot to say hi first. Um, yeah, API Dash is an open source cloud platform client that might help you to create or customize API requests like such as post, get, put, delete or whatever you want and check the response and also generate the code and that is one of the feature that I really like uh, with that tool. So, um, before just try to make this video, I have been um, used um, it for almost two months and I'm pretty satisfied because I want to make sure before I um, try to make this video and talk to you about. So uh, it has been built um, with Dart by Flutter Lover and it is not all heavy for your machine unlike um, many other tools you have used before. But um, let's just make some demo and you will try to understand better how it works. So um, let me show you the website first of all and it looks like this. So if you want to download, you just need to click on download button. So it will redirect you to um, this page. So you got different um, OS like Mac OS, Windows and Linux and you can choose whatever suite you to install. Like you got um, install Kydro there. So if I click on it, I'm going to be redirected to the documentation and I see that I can download it. Even if for Mac user, sometimes you can get um, this notification, like it is some kind of warning. Uh, I also get it when I try to install it on my, my computer, but uh, never mind, it is not something that is weird, you know. And um, after you just download it, uh, you are just going to open it. So I will show you later what it look like. And it is the same for Windows and Linux users. And after that, you also got like a community which is present in um, Discord. So if you want to talk with a uh, different founder of the solution, and one of them is Ashita, um, that we have already received on these channels and yeah if you have some question you can ask directly in the discord yeah that is a short presentation about their um, website and uh, it is really supported by the community especially on github also you have um let me just show you you have like um different people who are still working on it you know like um more than 40 contributors and uh, people are making pull requests sometime if you found this project because it is open source project like I was saying so if you want to contribute on it yeah feel free to do it and um, that might be very helpful for the community so yeah now let me just open like API dash and make some demo for you so um the API dash just look like this and you got like several functionalities or feature if you want first of all i have created different folder so we can try to just make some demonstration and um let's just start with the thing you know you got like um, you can switch them whatever you want there and but i really like for you dark them so um but you can do it as you want you can also create like to a request if you want to add a request directly from an API for example or you can create a folder and if you are working on different project you want to call it I don't know like um, my first project you can call it like first project you know so um, it will help you to um, have a well structured um, um, I can say folder for a project so um, you can use it also as documentation but you can do whatever suits you and you can create a collection every time you want to work on your collection or if you are working on several projects so it really depends um so yeah um for example i'm going just to make a get uh, with 
this on API, you can see that I got a response with the result. Uh, you can check the header if everything is good or if you want more details. And it is also the same with um, result. You can check the result and yeah, just read it. If you want to copy, you can copy and pass it on your own editor. It will depend. So um, on this example, there is no um, header that I have added manually or anybody because it is just, you know, you get another post. But if I just take the example on of um, this one, let me just show you. Okay, this will be better. Uh, what is I found like very interesting with um, API Dash is you can directly see the result of your um, API, such as an image, or if you want to um, to listen to the record, like if your API return you, um, um, how I can call it, like MP3, MP3, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, version. So yeah, you can do whatever suit you. But uh, in my case, I just add accept and image for example so if i just resend it you know i'm going to read uh you can change also the category there and say i don't know football for example or soccer um, let me just try okay so there, there is no make for but yeah let's just use natural so it will generate me a new image so i can preview it directly and um last functionality um or feature that i really like like I was saying in the beginning of the video is about the code generation. So you can click there on this button, like view code. So uh, I have just select Dart. It will generate me like Dart code, how to directly, I can copy past this one if I just want to test um, the API directly in my code. Or uh, if you are using like another, I don't know, framework or language, you can just select Node.js, for example, with Axios and it will generate it directly so yeah uh this is basically what um i have tried with um this tool for um, i can say two months now yeah and i find it very interesting so i will let you try to download it if you want um use it and get me feedback or directly on their github um uh, yeah their github link so they can still improve it and it will really help the community thanks for watching this video and i hope that you really like it see you bye